Good afternoon. My name is Todd. I'm going to be your logic tutor today. Today we are going to be calculating truth values for large complex statements such as the one I just checked, not z if and only if bracket x then not b, um, for given truth values for the statement constants uh, in these examples a b and c will be true and x y and z will be false and up above we have the basic uh, truth table or truth functions for all the logical operators uh, negation conjunction disjunction conditional and biconditional to help us if we forgot the first step to solving a problem like uh, number one is to simply substitute in the given values for the statement constants and a b and c the beginning of the alphabet are true and x y and z are false so i'm just going to write in the truth values below um the statement constant so z would be false x would be false and b would be true and this just comes from right up here we are told that these are what the values are so now I'm going to begin to calculate. All right, the first thing I want to do is get rid of any negations that I can. And if you look at over here, not z, the negation applies directly to the z. Um, so we can calculate the truth value of not z, assuming that z is false. Okay, so let's look up here at the negation. Um, and we're looking for a case where the box is false and we see not box is true. So I'm just going to write true below the negation sign so that I know that I've calculated the value for the not z and then I'm going to cross that out so I don't accidentally use it again. Okay, and then over here we have the not b part that can be calculated. B is true, so not B would be false. Uh, and I'm just going to write the false below the not sign. I'm going to cross this out uh, so I know I've already calculated that. So what we have at this point is true if and only if bracket false then false. Okay. Now, as you solve these problems, you're supposed to work from inside the brackets out. We have no explicit order of operations in our, our logic. So I'm going to work the, this bracket here, false, then false, okay? False, then false is true, but how do I know this in case I just don't know it? Well, I'm going to look up uh, at this truth table up here, and I'm going to find a case where both parts are false. This would be line four. And then I'm going to go over to the conditional operator, which is all the way over here, and I'm going to see that in that case, the conditional is true. So I'll write true down below the operator so I know that this is the result of what's in the parentheses. And so let me just drop the rest of the problem down. We end up with true if and only if true. So what's the value of that? Well, let's go back up to our basic truth table up here and look for a case where both parts are true. That's line one, interpretation one. And our operator is the biconditional, so I'm going to go all the way over to the biconditional, and I'm going to see that when both parts are true, the biconditional is true. And so I'm going to write that result right here, and that's the final result. So the truth value of this expression is true, uh, given A, B, and C are true, X, Y, and Z are false. Now let's do another one. Okay, again we have the uh, basic, basic truth functions up here to refer to in case we get lost. Again, A, B, and C are assumed to be true. X, Y, and Z are false. So first thing I'm going to do is simply write in the given values. So, uh, X is false, A is true, Y is false, and Z is false. Okay. 
Now I'm going to start calculating. Remember, I'm going to calculate from inside the brackets out, which means the first thing I need to calculate is the y and z. And the y and the z are both false. So I'm looking at line 4, where both parts are false. And then I'm going to look for the uh, truth value for the operator conjunction, which is right here. And I see that it's false. So the result right here is false. Okay, I'm going to cross those out because I've already used them. And so if I wanted to just rewrite everything right now, it would be true or, and that result over there, false. And it gets ended with that false over here. So again, I need to work inside the brackets. So I need to calculate the truth value of what I just underlined. And it's true or false. So what we need to look at is the case where the first part is true and the second part is false. That's line two. And then we're looking for the operator or. Let's go over to the or. And uh, that's right here. So we're going to see that this would be true. So I'm going to write the result below. Uh, the operator and uh, drop everything else down so I have my last operation is false and true so I'm going to look for the the interpretation where the first part is false and the second part is true that would be line 3 and I'm going to go across to the operator conjunction since we're dealing with an and here and I'm going to see that it says false. So the result of false and true is false. That's the truth value of this expression, this one right here, given that a, b, and c are true, x, y, and z are false. Uh, move on to another one. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's uh, start by filling in the truth values and uh, x, y, and z are all false, so all of these are going to be false, okay? Now, uh, to begin calculating the truth value of the entire expression, I need to work from inside the brackets first, uh, so, and then work outwards, so I'm going to calculate the truth value for this part first, the part I just underlined right there, and that's false, then false. So let me find the line where the both parts are false, right here. And then I'm going to go over to the uh, conditional operator, which is right here. I'm going to see on line 4, interpretation 4, the answer is true. So let me just write the answer true right here, uh, and then cross out everything above because I've already used it. So if I drop everything else down that needs to be calculated, I'm I end up with false then true. So uh, let's try to figure out what the value is here. Uh, so I'm going to look where look for the interpretation where the first item is false and the second one is true. That's line three, and my operator in this case on this line is the conditional. So I'm going to go over to the conditional and it's right here. So in the case where we have a false antecedent and a true consequent, the answer is true. And that's the last operation to do here. So the whole thing is true. Okay, let's move on and do another one. Okay. Um, a, B, and C are assumed to be true. X, Y, and Z are false. So in this case, the truth values that we need to plug in for the statement constants are all true. So true, 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 and true. So let's start calculating. I got to work from inside the brackets out. Um, and we try to get rid of negations first things first if we can. And we can do this one. This not applies to the A. And the A is true, uh, so let's look right here, line one. Uh, if we start out with a true and it gets negated, it turns to false. So not A, when A is true, becomes false. And now I'll cross this out. 
So inside the parentheses, we have false, then true. We'll calculate that in a minute. I'm going to just drop everything else down, true or true. That's all in brackets, and with an if and only if. All right, so let me calculate inside this parentheses the true or true. So I need to go find a case where the first part is true and the second part is true. That would be line one, true, true. Go over to the disjunction, and I see that the case where the first disjunct is true and the second is true, the whole disjunction is true. So let me write that down, true. That's the result of this. I'll cross it out. Uh, if and only if, and then now I gotta calculate this over here, the false then true. So let me find the case, the line where the first part is false, the second is true, that's line three. Go over to the conditional, which is right here, and I see that the result is true. So I can cross all that out. So what I'm left with is the final calculation of true, if and only if, true. So let me look for the case where both parts are true. That's line one again. I go over to the by conditional, and I see in that case right here that the answer is true. So this one is true, given that A, B, and C are true. Uh, let's do another one, our last one. Okay, this is a big long one, but every step is simple. Uh, and um, let's fill in the known values. A is true, B is true, C is true, A is true, B is true, A is true, C is true. Okay. So we need to work from inside the brackets out, generally speaking, and eliminate the negations first if we can. The one thing we can do first is this not B. The not B becomes, when the B is true, becomes false. And so let me cross that out so we end up with something like this. I'm just dropping everything down. And now I'm going to work from inside the brackets out. Um, so I'm essentially doing this part now, the not B then C. The not B has been calculated as false, and we're doing a then true. So let's look for the case where we start with a false and have a true. That's line three. First part is false, second part is true go over to the conditional and we see that the whole thing is true. So we can write true below it and then I'm going to cross this out. So I drop everything else down. It's true and true. This is all in brackets. If and only if. And now let me solve some of this stuff. Uh, inside this bracket here, true and true, uh, that would be case one and look over for the conjunction and we see that it's true so true um, and now let me calculate this true and true well we just did that same thing as we just did so that's true but those two things are ORed together so we'll have to calculate those all right so let's calculate this part now true and true uh, that would be line one, and we're looking at the conjunction. So we see that the answer is true. So we'll write it below the connective, and I'll cross that out. So we're going to have true if and only if the result of true or true. So again, I'm looking at line one, where the first part's true, the second part's true, but I'm looking for the or, and it's true. So let me write the result right there cross that out. So the final calculation we need to do is true if and only if true. So we're going to need to look at line one where both parts are true. We're going to go over to the by conditional and we see that the answer is true. All right. So I hope that helps you calculating truth values of a large statements and we'll see you soon.